This out here with eSports here at Fountain Four Carson. I am Cool Kid Coach, Coach Robinson here, bringing to you live a few of what we do here at Fountain Four Carson. Yes, eSports is a sport. Yes, you will be considered a student athlete. And yes, you will have fun. And yes, we go for the W's. So right now we're going to check in with our guys from Rocket League, and I'm going to do a little play-by-play -play with them. Now, as we're coming into play, we're waiting for Rocket League here. We got Turk Turk. Let me get my spectate mode on. Got the spectate. And here we go. Now, Turk Turk's going for the goal. Shoots one in. Boom, 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 boom. boom, 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 boom. There's one. Boom. Aquaman trying to get the ball. Turp Turp says, not today, baby. Let me show you how to do this, son. You ain't got no help. I'm doing this by myself. Give me points. And this is what they're doing, as you can see, in the game, in the frame itself. Now, Jay Pizzle is right there with me. The game seems to be kind of froze, but it's all good. Now, my man Aquaman, he says, you know what? My car is purple, and I'm like Prince. I'm about to make it rain. Purple rain. Point Aquaman! -y. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Boom! Danger, Real Robinson. Boom, shakalaka! Now, Turk Turk said, you know what? Look, you see my little car? My car about to do some more. Put, put, put the boom shakalaka on it. Put the brakes on it, son. Now, now for those who don't play Rocket League, you better ask somebody. Look at that defense. Ugh, flying through the air. Flying like an eagle. Ugh. Turp, turp, bringing it down. Manny says, I got you, son. Here's a shot. You might go. Manny says, no. Look at the drills. Look at the moves. Dang. Oh, he missed. Turk Turk says, I got this. Yeah, 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 boom. Turk Turk. Oh my, he's on fire. Oh, la, 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 la. Oh, la, la. Bang, 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 bang. Now, Aquaman, he says, you know what? Don't, don't, don't get too happy, Turk Turk. Turk Turk says, uh, I'm about to get ecstatic. I'm about to score again in your face. So just keep this here. Now, one thing about the great thing about Rocket League, if the ball is on the other opposing side, that means that person like Turp Turp is now on offense. Now, first playing defense, hey, that's Aquaman. Aquaman better get it going. He's got a fast car. At least he hopes so. But here comes Aquaman. He says, you know, no, Turp Turp says, no. Gotcha. Give me points. Ole, 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 ole. Turp Turp. Hang, hang. Aquaman is just getting served up by his own team. Yeet, yeet. Hey. Bang, bang. Oh, and let the trash talk begin. They do trash talk a lot with some Rocket League. Oh, Aquaman says, hold up, baby. There's three minutes to go in this game. There's a lot of game left for me to score. And he misses. Oh, he had a chance. Turp Turp says, uh, what's going on? Uh, you think you're going to get some more points? No, tonight. Uh, here we go. Let me go ahead and drill this ball down the field. I'm uh, about to go ahead and get me a point score here, because that's what I do. Aquaman try to get up there to block it. Turf Turk says, block this in your face, son. Oh, bang, bang. Look at that shot. Pass to himself. Turk Turk, hey. Mm. Mm. Aquaman better eat, drink some milk. Eat some better cereal, because uh, Turp Turp whooping him down. Now, here's Aquaman's chance to get in the game. Oh, Aquaman, oh. Turp Turp says, nah, let me score again. Bingo! Woo! Oh, told you! Told you, Turp Turp scored again. I, I think Turp Turp is, is, is bringing out his Magic Johnson shoes, or his Magic Jordan shoes, excuse me. Because he just scored all the goals. 
Aquamani is like, what is bewildered right now? But uh oh, Aquamani says, I'm not done yet, son. Oh, Aquamani says, kick rocks, turk turk. I'm on the board again, baby. <laughs> oh, give me two, give me a point, baby, baby, baby. Woo. That move that there is a pretty cool move. And so with two minutes, 30 seconds left, the one thing about Rocket League is anybody's game still. So even though my man Turk Turk's up five to two, Uncle Manny still can make that comeback in his purple Corvette. Here's a, here's a pass to himself. There's a shot to put it in. Uncle Manny says, uh, don't call it a comeback. <laughs> I've been here for years. I'm rocking my peers. I'm putting suckers in fear. Letting you know. Bring down like a the sound, so listen to the bass go boom, explosion. It's all on power. <laughs> For those who don't know, that was uh, Ella Kuhi back in the day. <clears throat> oh, Turk Turk says, uh, don't, don't, don't count me out. Turk Turk, oh! Aquaman says, oh, you got too, too happy, baby. Let me show you what I'm doing. Look how you driving on the wall, bringing it down, doing flippity flips. Oh, Turk Turk, taking it back out. Aquaman, he's trying to play some defense. Turk Turk's bringing it down. Playing good dribble. Good shot, Turk Turk! Oh! <coughs> nice shot by Turk Turk. That was nasty. Oh, he bumped him into the goal. Ooh. That was nice. I'm sorry, that was nice. Well, I got the game, you're done. Here comes Turk 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 says, you know what? I'm about to score again. Oh, he put him with the bump. Bumped him in the goal with the ball for the point. There's the boost. Got a little boost juice. Throw the ball down. It's on defense, picking the ball out. Oh, there he is. There's a shot there on goal. Oh, missed. Turk Turk bring it down. Turk Turk says, I got this. Bing. Bing. Uh oh. I'm trying to get it out. Uncle Manny's bringing it back down. Turk, Turk, come on with the defense. Turk, there it is. Good move by Turk. Play some great defense. Manny says, uh-uh, baby. Uncle Manny says, I got a little juice. Oh, good move by Turk. One minute remaining. I think this game's going to Turk, Turk. Oh, but Manny says, hold your britches. Because this game is not over yet. Bingo! Aquaman says, you know what? Don't don't count me out. Don't count your chickens. Yet. I'm like, I'm not gonna count your chickens. I don't even know why I would count chickens. But if I was gonna count them, I'll, I'm not gonna count them today. Oh! Not an explosion. Oh, Aquaman, he blew him up. Then he misses the ball. He's, and then Jay Fizz will call him a loser. Uncle Manny says, don't count me a loser. Turk Turk says, uh, I got 30 seconds to call me a winner. I'm about to score again, so you can definitely call me a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Turk Turk said, all I do is win, 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 no matter what, what. Oh, oh no. The Jello's jiggling, the popcorn's buttered. I'm telling you right now, this game is seven to four. 23 seconds to go. Anything can happen, but there's a move. Aquaman, he says, I'm about to hit me up with something here. Aquaman, he says, I got you, baby. Aquaman, he says, I'm about to get one more point in at least one score, baby, please. Here's a dribble from Turk Turk. Turk Turk says, I got one more in me. Score! Oh, 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 oh. Nice one by Turk Turk. This is the type of excitement we bring Esports here at Battle for Carson. It is what we do. Here we go. Five. There's four. Three. Two. One. Great game. Great game for Turk Turk, the winner, the loser, off of many. But we're all Trojans here, baby, so we're all winners. Now, what you just witnessed was Overwatch. 
bro, come here, come here, bro. Nah, come here. And the great thing about, like I said, the great thing is with esports, what most people don't know, being a student athlete, yes, you can get a scholarship playing video games. Schools give big money for video games. Next up, we might be getting Coach on. We might have Coach Speed, Jay Pizzle coming up. And uh, we're going to be looking at that game coming up soon. But um, as, as, the, as the guys are getting ready to re-energize re themselves for the next competition, the great thing about esports is that if we get to play against other schools, not only in, in our state, if they ever want to step up and play, but we also play schools all over. There's over 500 teams that we play, like in Overwatch and Valorant, and uh, the, the list just goes on. Right now, we are 2-1 and one in Rocket League, 1-3 and three in Overwatch. We are 2-1 and one in Valorant, and it just keeps getting better. So, with that being, this game, I'm telling you, the game is fierce. You saw Aquaman just get walloped by Turp Turp. Turp Turp did like some Pele kicks with a, with a rocket and just whooped on him. It was bad. It was bad, folks. I don't even know why the boy even showed up to play today. But it's good practice. Another game we'll be tuning into is Overwatch. Also, we're trying to get a few games of Valorant. So you get a good taste of what we do here. But hey, it's anyone's game when it comes to this stuff. And we enjoy doing what we do here. Going back to Rocket League, seeing who we got coming in. Going back to the screen, as you can see there. Great game for uh, Turp Turp and Aquamani. Ooh, score was a let. Ooh, that was not a good game for Turp, for Aquamani, excuse me. But hey, hey can everybody be a winner? <laughs> We're going to be tuning in soon. We've got another game streaming up real shortly. So just, uh, you know, kick back. The stream is not ending soon. What I am doing, though, is uh, put my little end screen on this part here. And I'll be uh, bringing some live commentary right back to you. Because that's just what we do here. So we're taking a quick, short break. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for coming in for future Trojan Night. Yes, I said it. Future Trojan Night. And thank you again.
So we're coming right back to you live. This is what we do here, you know, found for Carson. You know, I got my man James going to be filling in for me right now. And uh, James is the man, okay? So while I'm telling James what's going on, oh when you're switching games, James, oh. right here is your Overwatch game right here. <laughs> so we can see that. Oh, okay, that's just water. Okay, and then you come up here. We're going to go to Rocket League. Click on that. And we click on there. And then now, now you're talking and you're taking over. And I'm going to hit join as guest or spectate. Or spectate. And now you're watching the game. So James is taking over for you, folks. Good night. And here's James. All right, hello, everybody. So we're in a Rocket League game already. So it's 4-3, and this is actually against two of our Valorant members, or not Valorant members, Rocket League members today. It's Jay Pizzles and Aquamani. See, both of these players have tons of experience with this game. I have to say that these people really have actually carried some of the best plays so far. And in fact, they made it to playoffs last season, which is pretty impressive. Because if you don't know, playoffs are really hard to make. Let's say in the world there's about 500, and I'm not even kidding you on this, 500 different teams that all play in this huge tournament type thing with HSEL. And out of these 500 teams, they made the top 32 just to play here with us in the playoffs. Now, after playoffs, there's a thing where there's championships probably and everything like that. And that is even harder to get to because that's just the best high school players in the world. Or at least, yeah, in the world. And let me tell you, when I say in the world, it's in the world. Um, and you're probably wondering, which we've gone over this many times on every stream, how how exactly do we go all over the world and have perfect internet with each of these? And this is where the cool thing known as Ethernet comes into play. Because what Ethernet does is it takes two different parts of the world and conjoins them, but it still has the consistency of these satellites that it makes it so that all of this just happens to great making for great gameplay and consistency, consistency in how we see games. Now, if you haven't played Rocket League before, it's a game where it's basically soccer with cars. Now, they're, here they're just having a 1v1, so there's no special abilities. There's just the little balls uh, that they have to grab on the ground, which are orange, that give them a boost to go faster and hit the ball. Uh, but there's other game modes where they, you could pick up power-ups such as a spike and all these other things that allow you to grab the ball and get a higher advantage against the opponent. Now, a, this game has so many concepts that it's such a surprise to just watch the, these players play and know everything that's going on and able to control their surroundings and still somehow win the game. Now, here we have a 5-4. They're probably going to run it again. Uh, and here we can see there's 30 seconds down on the left. But here we we're having highlights come back of how many scores they got. As we can see, Aquamaning is going back, but he does get blocked, and it goes in straight into the goal. No hesitation at all. He knows every move he wants to make, and Jay Pizzle just goes in. Now here we have Aquamaning, who takes the ball straight up and throws it into the, uh, into the goal. And another one by Aquaman, which is a great double flip after after uh, jerking around with the ball. Now, Aquaman is going to make another goal. I have no clue where Jay Pizzle is on this one. All right, here we go. So here we have another game going down between a 2v1. Aquaman must be hella good because there's no way I could handle two people. Let me tell you, I've played this game once. And the controls are impossible for me. I can't figure out anything. Oh, okay, it's a one and one. Okay. Back to the so if you hit all and just go back to the rocket. Skip it. No. Oh. Okay. Alright, so we have turn turret. 
and Aquamani. Now, this is uh, not Jay Pizzles who was playing with him last. And we have a great start by Aquamani who hits the follow up but does not follow up and actually misses the goal, giving Turdip a chance to goal and he makes it into the goal. This isn't looking like a good start for Aquamani. After all, he did just mess up an easy goal right there. But I can't really talk. I'm very bad at the game. Alright, so this is the replay of what happened. Alright, they're starting. So this is the countdown. Two cars lined up, like the showdown the Cowboys in the shows. And it looks like Turchip gets the beginning hit, and they both don't know where the ball is by hitting each other. And they actually, Turchip misses the ball in the air. And that gives Aquamani the perfect opportunity, but he misses the ball. And Turchip makes a good recovery here, hitting the ball back. Uh, he does miss the goal here, and then the ball again, giving Aquamani a chance to hit the ball back into the goal, but he doesn't get the chance either. He backs off so that he can try to recover this. Aquamani is now hitting the ball in the air. Turchip makes a nice save, and he has control of the ball. He's, oh, Aquamani actually steals the ball away from Turchip, giving the chance for the ball to be up in the air. Aquamani has a chance to go, and he actually hits it to the side giving Turtip the perfect opportunity to hit the ball towards the other side of the goal. It looks like they're struggling to hit the ball into the goal right now. Oh, Aquamanning does have a lead. The ball is going in. Oh, it misses just by the slight little bit that it has to be to get into the goal. They have 3 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Turtip is in the lead. It looks like they're just messing around with the ball, you know, fiddling around a little bit. They have to get a little more prepared to make a goal. And he misses a perfectly fine goal that could have just gone right in. Aquamanning gets control of the ball again. He's starting to figure out where he needs to go with it. And Turtip makes another good save here. He's redeeming his name from that terrible goal he missed. But it's perfectly fine because he's going in and he makes another goal. Doesn't look good for Aquamanning here. Alright, this is another replay. You can see that Turchip is in the lead with 0-3. He's doing very good here. Okay, here we have him lock, locked in on Aquamanning. He goes, and the ball is now hit in favor of Aquamanning. It is going back, and he goes! That is a perfect start to his comeback story. Just like in animes, you know? Whenever the hero's down and the main character's out of the route, there comes Aquamanning, taking that position and making sure that he can make a comeback. Alright, here we go. So line up again. As though, you know, that cowboy thing they make. Now, the turnover is actually pretty equal here. Aquaman is going around, he does hit the ball. Turchin makes a nice return. Aquaman locks it into the air, but it still gives turn tip the perfect shot straight into the goal, so he doesn't have to worry about a thing with his lead. You know, I did say there was a comeback coming, but I don't know, folks. It doesn't look like there's much of a comeback here when it's one to score. But you know, we have seen more, uh, more comebacks than just this uh, in other gameplays that we've had. Okay, another lineup, and the ball it looks more like it's in Manning's favor, but Turntip does go for the ball to recover it. He's slowly jiggling it around to make sure what Aqua Manning won't mess up his gameplay, but Aqua Manning saves the ball. And he's going in, and it's a good save. He is going to go back and try to make this goal. He's using the boost he's getting. He, oh, he weaves around Aquaman and he's leaving this guy lost in the fields that are made of cocoa. And he makes another goal. Aquaman is struggling out of his mind here. There's nothing he can do. He's going to need a prayer from the Lord here. Okay, it's another lineup. Can Aquaman get the ball this time? You go straight for it. And Aquamanning actually does get the ball off on this one. Turntip isn't going in. He's too far behind, and Aquamanning gets another beautiful shot off like he did before. Now it's two and five. We've seen a comeback come back from this before. Uh, five seconds is all you need to make a goal here. Remember that, folks. Because that means for every five seconds, let's say he makes a perfect goal, that's more points than I can count in my head right now. It's another goal off. Aquamanning wins this one just slightly. <laughs> He's going out. He, ma he makes a terrible pass to the wall. Turntip's gonna take the advantage here that from that terrible wall shot. Oh he weaves out of Aquamanning's way and just dunks on him like sands from Underdale. 
Now, for all of you people who don't know what that is, that's a game called Undertale. It's a story game about taking two different routes and making your own story off of a child who fell through a hole in the mountain, hoping one day to escape the other side. Now we have another beautiful shot off. It seems Turtick won this one. He's running back, and Aquaman is going to go for it. He's flipping around, hoping to find an opening to take the ball back. It hits the wall, and oh my gosh, he just scored for Aquaman. Now that is just that is humiliation. At this point, he's just giving him goals, knowing that he has a higher advantage for a win. All right. Here we go, another round off. We are three and six with a minute and 40 seconds left on the board. Everybody is getting a little bit tense, but we all know. Oh, okay, and Aquaman makes an explosion that helps the ball go straight into the goal like it's nothing. You can watch it right here. They get out of the way, and the ball goes straight down, and it's going straight for the goal here, and you just hear a boom and boom, the goal, the goal just goes wild. because So the concept of this game is when two cars hit a collision straight on, they explode. So that goal, that goal with the ball was so calculated perfectly that when they hit and collided, they didn't have enough time to respond, giving enough chances for him to make the goal. And here we have another goal by Aquamanic. It seems Turntip is losing his goal, and he actually, this Aquamanic is actually making the main character comeback that he should be making. Now, both of these players from the Valorant team are very competitive when it comes to this game. As we can see here, Turntip does lose this, but he's gonna go around. Okay, he's getting his sights back on the ball, and he hits it out. Aquamanic makes a good return. Turntip has to turn around and make it back. Uncle Randy is backing it back. The ball seems to be out of place. None of them have the ball right now. And it seems like they're struggling to actually get the ball. Kind of like a kid that's lost in Ikea. If you don't know, Ikea is such a confusing place to go through. I've been there like three times and I didn't get out once. My mom had to get me. Now, Uncle Randy takes control of the ball again, but it seems Turnchip hits it out. It seems he's playing scared now because he knows that Turnchip can take this game back. And Aquamanning hits the ball back out. So she makes a nice upward recovery. And Aquamanning takes control again. He misses the ball, giving Turtip a perfect shot, but he's going straight for the wall again. The ball's going down. Aquamanning hits it out of the way, not giving Turtip the chances he needs to get the goal. The ball comes back. Aquamanning is playing right now with Turtip like he's the ball. They collide and create a boom. Now they have to wait seconds. Okay. They're back in already. Uh, it seems Aqua Manning does not have the advantage of getting spawned on the other side. The ball hits the wall, and Turtip looks like he could have made a goal there, but it actually misses and hits the wall. They have 10 seconds on the clock. 8, 7, 6. But it doesn't seem like Aqua Manning's going to get it. Oh, Turtip walks it out. Can he keep it in the air? They're keeping it in the air, and it's over. That is a good game for Pound 4 Carson. That is the aggressor Turntip, or one of the esports teams members on our team. No, we need big grinders. Yo, John, I'm playing you Okay. What do I do? I need to play. We'll be back in a moment. Want to disrespect everyone, man? Now it's here. What do I do? Just take a little break from the Rocket League to check in with the team. You got friends? That was nice. Bowen, you're wearing it! touching the screen.
All right, folks, we're back from our short little break, and we're going to go straight back to Rocket League. Yeah. Here I have... Oh, Kai. no! We have Kai here with us. He's going to be helping me commentate now. Right? So here we have Jay Fizzle versus Turntip, and it looks like they're already 2-2 two and two with 2 minutes and 27 seconds left. Who, who, who do you have your bets on in this one? I got my bets on Blue. Okay. I'm gonna have my bets on turn tip just because Jay Pizzle said I cannot commentate anymore because I left the microphone on. You know, that makes a person really mad sometimes. Being told what you're supposed to do. Yeah, now look at this. He hits the wall on top. And he gets boomed, and that gives turn tip actually the perfect opportunity to shoot for the goal. And he misses it, and he booms him again. Turnip is gonna miss every opportunity here just to hit a goal by J and but only kill Jay Pizzles. You know he's talking in my revenge here. Only reason why I turn this game is you want to get set to the man putting in the bag. That's what I'm saying. Honestly, with how many times Jay Pizzles has to respond, he's not even in the game this time at this moment. Well, goal looks like it's gonna go straight in. Jay Pizzle misses the recovery and then Oh, he wins it twice! That is something you hate to see in our rocket. Now, I won't say that they're bad, though, because they really are good. They took this, this uh, playoffs last year. No, 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 no. And it looks like they're actually both struggling for the ball, and it's going to go straight in this time. Turnchip finally made a goal. Okay, we're seeing some action here. After two booms, and Jay Pizzle struggling to keep the ball safe. Tur and Turnchip actually with it every single time. We finally see some action from Turnchip and get a goal. All right, here they go. They have a line up again. And it goes in Turntip's favor here. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have Jay Pizzle take control of the ball here. And he actually successfully defends. That's an impressive by a Turntip. Get it? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, JPEG tries to shoot him out, but he actually fails. And Turntip is going for the goal. Nice recovery, yeah. That could have been that could have gone bad real quick. Jay Bizzle is playing with fire. Oh, he's just watching it. He knows he's gonna miss. That's right, but he doesn't even need it because Jay got 30 seconds left. No, it's Turkey. Turkey's just gonna defend now. He doesn't need to score. And looks like he's doing good. Yep, no struggle. And he actually looks like he wants that goal. He wants to just put shame into Jay Pizzle. That is true, that is very true. Alright. Yep, hey, it looks like he's already given up. Oh, and there we go. That is our game right there. 3 1. Alright, so do you play in this game? Oh, yes, I actually do. What game do you play in? I play Halo Infinite, but I'm just a sub, really. Alright, so what do you think about the Halo Infinite team right now? How have they been doing? Uh, I'm not really sure since I haven't watched much of it, but I'm pretty sure I have high hopes for them. Alright, do you know what your team's uh, at right now? Score wise? Uh, no, I'm not sure. I think Halo is 03. Alright. Okay, Halo is 03. Yeah, 03. Okay. Alright, so we, I know Chris and some other people on the team. So, do you know them well enough? Or? <laughs> no, not really. Alright, so how many times have you played? Uh, I've played like once or twice. Alright, so what are your thoughts on the game you played? Oh, they're really good. I love Halo, the genre and everything. Who's your favorite character? Favorite character? You know, World War 7, Spartan. Oh, yeah. yeah. John World War 7. I gotta say, Master Chief for me, I, he's, I know he's like a big character out there, and some people probably don't like him because of that. But you know, when you see him come in, and he's ready to do business, oh, that's just perfect. My man just screams Black Ops Energy whenever you see Master Chief, especially in the cutscenes and everything. Halo 4 and Halo 5, though, mm -hmm. kind of weird, but that Halo 5 cutscene versus Spartan Lockdown was one of my favorite scenes. I'll just say, Cortana in Halo 2, that was so perfect. I love the concept of the game and everything. And that final boss with all the cutscenes and everything made the game so much better. It kind of reminds me of Black Ops 2, in a sense. Man, you have no room to talk! On the spot of games, the best one, actually. For Halo? Yeah. My favorite Halo game has to be probably Halo 2 or 3. 
I would say Halo 3, because Halo 3 had the Flood, and they had the, right. they, they, they had the Elites on your side, but they also had the, what are they called, the new... Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I'm not sure what they were called, but it was the opposite of the on yeah. our side. What I have. Yeah, those were a great concept they added to the game. All right, so here we have to actually figure out where the team has gone to spectate their new games. Uh, just, uh, give us one second. Just because they told me what to do, but it's different. Just don't touch anything. Just score once and don't touch it. Try to score, James. Give me the control. <laughs> I need to turn myself. No, no. Uh, hey, where did he go? Yeah, I'll have you guys stream us here in a second. Are you? Are we just on cause right now? All right. Why are your camera saying so bad? Hey, Schmied, are we are we waiting right now? Yeah, we're waiting for me to get in. Okay, can uh, we already get in? Oh yeah, let's get overwatching. Overwatching? Yeah, go ahead and switch to Overwatch then. Okay. You need to log into your account. Are you I need help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with these controls. Okay, well, so my controls are too like the sensitivity is too low, right? Your camera's saying you're bad. <laughs> the camera ain't off. Yes. Fix them for me. Not right now. It's bots. Oh my god. You're playing, god. Score. You're playing so, Wait, you played against bots? Without the game, oh, just save. Right, yeah, no. so, okay. You can't quit. Oh, change, no, change, change, it, change it so it's good. Bro, that's controls, man. How are you going to get... How are you going to get... They even real. They don't even exist. Right. You don't even okay, exist. Okay, just go. Nah, okay, so you're opening you Overwatch right now. Yeah. All right, and you guys are playing? Uh, yeah, we're just going to... We're doing... Uh, a private match, just the, the five of us. Uh, Alright, Paul, well, do you want to explain a little bit about Overwatch to everybody? Yeah, sure, why not? So, Overwatch is a 6v6 shooter for where the objective can be a whole lot of things. Uh, capture the objective, uh, push the payload. Uh, what? Yes. Some of the oh, you have objectives no. that we have to do for Why? our game. You have distorted uh, too much. With the game, there's like a full, full cast of various characters that has unique abilities, and what with all of them having a super ability that can sometimes really determine the game. It can be very interesting. Yes, right, so I've actually heard a lot about Overwatch and the, the characters yeah, and the different ones. Now, I, there's like Tracer, there's D.Va, there's Reinhardt. You want to explain some of their abilities, like Tracer, what she does? There is a whole lot, so I'm only going to cover a couple for each right, class. Okay, how about we do this? We'll go over who do you mean is a good idea. I'll do two of each class, and but I'll start off. With. He's learning. <laughs> uh, so for me, I play support. I I keep my team alive. Uh, I mainly play Lucy, a character that uh, can give speed and also heals in an area around him, and can be very. He can help. I'm have the team push no, I'm not my party. Press oh, yeah. at a very fast mm. rate when he's oh. doing it right. Oh, Alright, so uh, how does, <laughs> does he relate to Mercy in any way? Because I heard she was a dealer too. Uh, uh, they're both supports. Oh, oh, right, so. the but they're not related. Since you brought up Mercy, I'll <laughs> talk about her. Uh, oh, Mercy is, is our our Mercy is a, a character that focuses purely on healing. I told you he was going to be medic, bro. I told you. I'm sorry. I don't know if I should say weapon or Oh my god, you are getting like this. I told you, I told you. A device that heals individual people okay. by themselves. She can, okay. when used right, she can keep an entire team alive just by herself. Okay, that's and With her device, she can also damage groups, which. We're gonna hit a triple with right on, person, right? Yo, it can Adelaide? it can Yo, shred almost any character. Right, that would make, make sense. Some, some of her abilities allow her to like go directly to a teammate yeah, a, and so even we're revive we're a dead single dead teammate. But that takes time to come back. Alright, that's cool. 
All right, so actually, we have to get your stream getting up, so uh, we'll be back really soon to uh, with the Overwatch Can't wait team playing. Can't wait to show you guys some gameplay. I'll be on there as some guy. See ya. Hey, we need you to sign in on there. That was not nice. Sign in? Uh, yeah. Welcome to Rialto. Initiating match. Incoming in 30 seconds. Guys, we're coming back to you with Overwatch here. Here we're gonna have another one of our Valorant or Overwatch teams this time, which we're gonna actually be spectating here. 
we're going to be going around. So this is Lucio here. And as I was told by one of our other players, he's a healer. Right? Uh, okay, so this is Widowmaker. She's a sniper, right? Right, and it looks like because she's not meant to actually be in open area, she's struggling to get away. As three people were actually after her, and she's somehow getting away. I have to say, that's quite impressive. She must be very good at movement. Right? Alright, and here we have Diva in her mech. And if you don't know, actually, she can release her mech and it creates an explosion around her. She releases it, which we're about to see, maybe. Oh, no, never mind. She didn't get out. That was just a so blind. Right, and she's actually getting placed by Tracer, who doesn't get the pick on her mech. And Widowmaker is actually still playing back, trying to get shots on her. That is very true, and they keep coming around, and this, the Tracer is not too good at aiming. Right. Or just firing the gun in general, but that's fine. And here we go. They're going around. The payload is moving again. That means nobody has a contested in sight to stop it. And there comes the enemy, Lucio. Alright. That is true. Well, Lucio is a healer, but I don't know if he can heal himself. I wasn't told that. Alright, so they're having a bit of an issue with the back and forth sort of fight here. And their deep action does have a That is true. I'm not sure what Doomfist does exactly. I did see his trainer in Nurse before. He's been a long time since I've played, though. Before I played. I'm in the Kirsten and Addison. Oh, yeah, I'm in the Now, they have a Lucio and Doomfist actually defending pretty well. They're holding their own. The other Lucio is not being targeted or even attacked here. Well, oh, Payload moved a little bit because he just slightly got out of that range. Doomfist keeps going in, just slightly making sure that they can get you anything. And that's the Diva's explosion uh, part of the ultimate. Alright, that's what I'm seeing too. Now, I'm pretty sure it does one-shot kill as long as the... It's like perfectly, exactly right on the top. Now, as we can see, it seems Lucio is still dead, and he's back in top left. Uh, there's 82% left on this soil. Wow, Lucio died right away. That is just something crazy. Right, he comes in and actually kills one of them by making them fly off the edge. Right, and now we have Dima's old. Right, and he's defending pretty well. He actually gets both of them. She's out of her ultimate. It seems like Doomfist is actually holding up pretty well without their Lucio. And Lucio comes back stopping the payload right as soon as they could have started it. And Doomfist is actually going in to help him. Looks like Diva's staying back. Yeah, Diva's waiting for her ult. And she actually has it back again. Alright, Diva's playing very intelligently here. She's letting her teammates take care of the Doomfist and everything as she tries to slowly build up that uh, mech that she has so that she can take out all of the opponents with it. Obviously it gives her a huge boost. Her attack is higher and definitely her health too. Okay, the payload is moving again. And it seems that there's... Oh, there's actual movement. They have taken out everyone on the enemy team. They are holding the payload now pretty well. Yes, it does seem true. She is Sombra, I believe. And it seems that the Lucio cannot hold up by himself without Doomfist. And Doomfist does have his ultimate here, so with all of them cornered in like this, it would be perfect for him to use that all around the hole. Yep, and there it goes. And it hits, actually. It doesn't do that much to Diva, though. It seems it only did about half of the mech's health. But you know what? That's no problem for Doomfist. He takes out that mech like it's nothing. Now he's going in for the kill on Diva. And there we go. And it looks like the entire team on their side died.
Uh, that's perfect for Doomfist and Lucio. They're gonna be able to hold it better, hide a little bit. Yep, see Doomfist is actually going around here. He's gonna be away for damage. Right, but that's not good thing to do Lucio, though. He definitely, with his health and attack, he cannot hold it by himself. Fine. Oh, it seems that both uh, Lucio and Doomfist were uh, hit by one of Diva's abilities, maybe her ultimate. And they actually, Doomfist died because he couldn't use anything. And Lucio's about to do his, Oh, he's actually holding up pretty well. And his health is getting low. And, he's, and there we go, he is there. It seems that our uh, Doomfist has changed to a Reinhardt. Now, Reinhardt, I believe, he's a hammer player that has a shield. Right, he gives up his Yep, that definitely means it gives the enemy team, or the defending team, a better chance of taking the win here. Diva versus Lucio. Now, Lucio doesn't have any huge defense like Diva has, especially with Diva's back, but it seems he's actually holding up pretty fine, and he hasn't actually take the, took in any damage here. And he actually has his ult, too. Now, I'm not sure exactly what his ultimate does, but uh, I really do want to see it. If he is, actually, he can't use it, I believe, since Diva now hit him. Right. Reinhardt, oh, I, I, I just saw that correctly. Reinhardt used a, a defensive attack, something came out of his hammer, something like a little wave shockwave or something. Yeah, right there it is again. Yeah, so Reinhardt can actually play offensively too. It looks like they actually sold Yeah, that's very good for them. I mean, them pressing up obviously is because there are three red team players, which means one of them can easily go on the payload. Looks like Reinhardt is down here. Oh, that is not good, and the payload is moving slightly. Lucio. Yep. And here we can actually see which person on our team for Overwatch is actually the better Lucio, but it doesn't matter now because Zima comes back. Right. Now it's all up to Lucio to hold down the fort himself. Oh, Reinhardt comes in back again. He knocks him back. And he's actually picking up the work where his Lucio is not being able to take care of himself. He takes, he's starting to take some huge damage on the enemy team. Looks like our. Oh, yeah. He, did, he pulled out his shield, hoping oh, that he could do something there, but he just couldn't finish off anybody on the team. Okay, it looks like our Lucio is going himself. Oh, we see a new character that the Reinhardt switched out of. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, okay. Who is that? She can also heal and Oh, okay. That's a pretty cool ability. Both of them are support, which is now a very good Right, that means lower health back. Wait, does that mean there's lower health on the, uh, on the defense team then? No, that's not very good, is it? Right, looks like he was actually about to get from ultimate again. And it's destroyed actually, her back, so that means she cannot use her ult, but she's gonna play back here. Oh, blue team has been Yep, and that's the payload delivered. Wow, great plays over here. We saw some great back and forth action. In fact, the defending team did defend well enough to where they actually took out the entire attacking team at one point. And here we have Reinhardt, I believe. Yes, and here is the play of the game. Yup, right here, he takes out Reinhardt. Yup, right here, he makes the Lucio jump off the edge and kill him. And it goes into the Diva. Impressive plays here by both sides. I definitely saw a lot of great plays. No wonder the Falcon 4 Crescent team has two wins. However, red team did overwhelm them with their extra player. That is true. And playing two support was definitely a bad move there at the end. It obviously didn't provide much support for them. I would have went for an attack with the team to push back the team more. Right. Now, I, if I'm right, do they switch teams? Like, does the defensive attacking switch here on our next match? Score I'm not quite sure. I think they do. Alright, alright. That's pretty good. Alright, it seems we have the same map here. It looks like they do. Okay, we can... Let's see. We're gonna look for if we can spectate single people now. Oh my! Okay. We can't figure that out, but it seems like they're already going in. Not changed at all. She's 
block. The same character, however, the two other characters have to nope. change. Right, it looks like it's just a free roam here now. <laughs> they gotta mess around with their abilities, see what they wanna do. Now, I think we see a character here with different, maybe tripwires or such, that tell them of when the enemy team is approaching. Red team has road Oh yes, like, and I'm, I believe because of his pulling ability, he's actually very powerful and can take out D.Va herself. Does, doesn't he take her out of her neck this way? Yes, I think they do. However, the two other four, they can attack. Now here, here we have D.Va who's just spinning right round, you know, those songs spinning right round babies. But bigger. <laughs> Alright, and it seems <laughs> right. just waiting around. He has to take on a few people by himself. Maybe they're just testing around to see if uh, Warthog is good enough to take out a team three by himself. Yeah, that is true. Maybe you can play a support or mercy. I heard she was a healer, so maybe an all-around healer for a heavy tank might work better. Especially if it gets damage buffs. Alright, we have Hog uh, coming back here, and D.Va seems to be pushing him, but it's, he's just gonna play back and wait. He healed up here. Looks like their red team isn't making any progress here. No, not really. What are you doing? The team said actually only. Oh, okay, here we go. So now the game is starting. Oh, never mind. The game has been restarted by a moderator. Alright, we are in a different map now. It's not the same one as last one. We might have to change up their strategy a little bit. We're gonna see a little bit of different gameplay here. That'd be very good. Alright, so here we are. We can take a little look around the map real quick. It's very like Japanese custom. No, 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 no. Alright, and here's a power up, right? So the this is for health. Alright, what other power ups are there if you know? Uh, I'm not sure. I think there might be a damage power up or that. Alright, it looks like they're starting. They actually went for Mercy and Lucio, another double support play. So I'm not sure if that's a good play or not, but it's definitely something, and here we have both of them. Lucio's gonna have to be the one providing most of the damage here. That's right. So, I'm pretty sure Mercy only has a pistol. So she's mostly gonna be healing on Lucio here, and Lucio's gonna be healing himself. The strategy is very interesting, and it takes a lot of skill, I believe. But Mercy can also use her repel attack. Right, and she can up Lucio's damage from what I know. Alright, seems they're going to be starting here in 5 seconds. Alright, here we go. And both of them are released. And Lucio goes straight up, which is zooming out. And it looks like they're instantly impressed by Widowmaker, who actually does not take out the Mercy and gets punished for that. Mercy is taking the front lead, which is not a very smart choice. Okay, so now it's a contested by Blue, but they're actually struggling to contest it on both sides. Alright, so we have Mei actually who's stuck in her own wall. Oh, and she goes in to heal here. And right when she gets out, she starts to attack, but she's missing her shots, and Mercy is too. And Mercy actually is frozen and punished for it and dies. Lucio is running around. Alright, so we have Lucio, both Lucio just running circles around each other. And it's actually helping really well with the contested area. Alright, here we go. We have. Oh, Mercy will come back, but they're not Mercy. I actually. This is one of the new characters I don't know the name of. Uh, those orbs I'm supposing are very dangerous, and especially in this area. True. It's very distracting to see tons of orbs going around. Actually, it seems that the red team has taken out two, and they are actually taking over the uh, objective. It seems they're almost there. Just a little bit more, and they'll have it. 
and they have contested it. They have to now go to another objective. We'll follow some guy who is playing the board himself. Technically, I'm the best player here. I spent like two solid. Alright. Okay, here we already see we have some battling going on. Alright, so now we're in like a dojo type area. Okay. And we already have orbs going around it. Wow, it's already over. Okay. That was a slaughter. Wow. Wow, Red Team really made a redemption here. Right? They definitely made... Oh, Mor Moria? Moria. They, they definitely made a comeback here. Uh, a different redemption than what they had when happened with the Payless game. Wow. And then her ult, and apparently it's a laser. It's pretty impressive. Alright. And it seems like that's the end right now. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Uh, that so, crazy. so that last battle was crazy. right. They definitely made a redemption from payload. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, he missed. Okay. All right. So it looks like we have the next match here in five seconds. Maybe, so, what are you thinking? Will we be in the same map again, or? Yeah. Interesting. Maybe. Okay, here we go. So they're restarting the game. Okay, this is the map we were first on, I believe. Wow, it's, it has a very nice aesthetic to it as well. As well. Now, I'm hoping we see some different players uh, or characters come out here. It was definitely interesting to see that one character, Moria, with the one sword. Yeah, however, well, I'd like to see some more like attack characters. Right. Maybe some more heavies. I definitely wanted to know what Roadhog was going to happen there, uh, what they were going to play there. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay. It switches again. I'm into a clip. Oh, have you ever seen. There's this one show. Uh, with two brothers who are vampire hunters, right? Wait, or Castlevania. Oh, right, this totally, I totally get those vibes. Yeah. Right, and it looks like the warm up's already going out. Now it's just waiting here. It wasn't even by him, it was by you. Oh my god, I shot him! So, my thoughts on these characters so far are pretty interesting. Like, we have Diva with her ult and her mech as her You got scored, I'm losing! And, <laughs> alright, and we also had Sombra and Widowmaker, who seem to be playing high angles, or close angles. Reaper? Reaper. So, Reaper is, what, a double shotgun character, yeah. correct? He's one of my favorite characters to play, actually. Alright, what does he do? He's a very space character with um, his super being able to like attack all around with his guns, and he's able to kill a lot of people with his high amounts of damage. All right, that's a pretty good. Too. He can play support and oh uh, teleport back to it. All right, makes sense. Oh, okay. Is this one of his abilities? Yes, that was the oh, come on. Oh. All right, all right. So he just kind of makes a shadow. Does does the enemy team see that shadow sometimes? Uh, yes, it, 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 but you're able to teleport back where you're from, so it's like a retreat method, or you can set up a trap at the front where the enemy team doesn't see that you're moving around. You can quickly push them. All right, so it's he's really good for like flanking yeah. and getting away. So he's he's like. Oh, okay, you want to try to hide behind your spot? Okay, I'm going to go behind you, kill you, okay. I'm done here, I got one of you, I'm out. Alright, so does he have high damage output in return? Yes. Okay. If you play right, yes, you can hit the Alright, so he's a very strategical character. Roadhog, I think, is an all defense character. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, being a Valor player, I totally think he kind of seems like the character Omen. He has, Omen has teleports to create space for the team and get picks. I totally think of that when I see Reaper. And it seems that Widowmaker punched uh, Reaper to death. Uh, that's kind of humiliating, but gosh. So let's actually see what they're doing over here.
So they're high, they're fighting in this huge area. Here we see Reaper actually gets a pick. Okay, here we go. So the match gets restarted again. We're in the main wing tower. Uh, yeah, we're fine with that. Alright, we're gonna be going back to Rocket League here in a minute. We're just out of a game right now, so we're between. Alright, we'll be back with you guys in a minute with Rocket League. Now arriving at Mi Jung Tower. Initiate. All right, and we're back with you guys in Rocket League here. All right, and it, uh, it seems they already started. They're three minutes and 34 seconds in, and it's 3-0. All right, we actually have Turp and Schmid, uh, one of the coaches, Swall and Saber. Now, Co Coach Schmid has definitely been a great foundation for me. Ball, 
combo turns him, tries to deny it. Oh, but Aquaman comes in to oh, save his is. That's true. And Aquaman he makes the goal. That was that was really close, but you know, just to secure it, he he really put it right in there. See, he goes in, struggles going in, and then Aquaman just secures the goal there. Two minutes and 28 seconds. Aquamanic is going right back and he hits it out of the way, but he does get hit. Turtip is actually going to go in and try to save it here. And he makes the goal. That is perfect. Look at this. See, right when Aquamanic gets hit out of the way, he gets it to the other side. Turtip goes in and she perfectly lands the goal. That is some great teamwork we have to see here at Fight Four Crescent. Alright, here we go, they're set to start again. Aqua Manning seems to actually take on two of them and perfectly defends the takeover. And Turchip comes in to get it on the other side. Yeah, he takes it to the other side. Aqua Manning. Oh, oh, that, that was good. It was a good defense and back into the other side play. And Turchip's taking it up. They're looking at the ball. And he actually makes the goal. That is really good. Looks like the 6 0. Alright, so it seems that our coach Schmid is actually struggling against two of our players. And I'm saying this will probably get me a lot of hate later from Mr. Schmid. You know what? He's been practicing. And obviously practice makes perfect. Now we actually get a good defense here by Alpha Manning and turns in. But it doesn't matter because Jay Pizzler just comes in through the middle and makes a perfect goal. This looks like it might be the comeback story for Schmid and Jay Pizzler here. Right, you see everyone spread out and Jay Pizzler's glory right there at the ball making that perfect goal. He definitely has the potential, but against blue team we're playing for a while. Right, so that's going to be hard. That turns in is able to win against Shmeen in the double lock right there. But Jay Pizzles hits it out, and it goes straight into the goal. What a shot. That is incredible. Here we see it. Ready? He just, everyone misses. He hits it straight up right into the goal. That's a perfect lineup. You realize I had this last year, right? Here we go. They hit it out. Actually makes a save here. And Jay Pizzle, Jay Pizzle says, No, you are not coming over to our side today. This is my side of the wall. I'm like the old man that was near me. And whoa! Jay Pizzle, gosh, he is coming out. He is not messing around. And Turtip actually makes a bad save. He gets a. He blows up. He just blows up. <laughs> Unlike his Instagram page, he blows up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now it's going back between Turntip and Jay Pizzles. Aqua Manning stops the tiebreaker. And here we go. Schmid misses just like his shots with the ladies. Uh, <laughs> Alright, and now we have Jay Pizzles coming back. And he actually can't fight Turntip just like in real life. Alright, and then we finally get a goal from Turntip. You know, he can make it in that hole first try, but not normal other holes. Alright, here we go. They go in and Turn Turf we actually wins this one. Jay Pistols misses the ball and Schmid misses it too. And it is the perfect shot for Aquaman. Alright, here we go. We get another lineup. We see Schmid miss here and then Aquaman just line it back up in. Looks like blue team's actually gonna win this one. Only 20. All right, 30, 17 seconds. Unless the ball is kept in the air the entire game, it does not seem like they're actually win this. And it rolls after a weird little tie off right there. And Jay Pizzle seems to go for the defense. And he does get a good, good defense, good defense. All right, and it looks like he's keeping it in the air. Oh, but Aqua Manning denies that air. Oh, but he's gonna keep it for some reason. Oh, 
Okay, Jay Pizzle is going to keep it in the air, and it looks like Zerto is looking at it too. And it actually fits the ground. That's the end, and the winners are blue. Alright, that's the last close to the orange team. Alright. Now, we, we did see some good content from both sides. Now, it looks like Jay Pizzle was the only one with goals on the orange team. And it says three here, so how somehow they had two. I'm not really sure how this ranking works, but it works. A while ago, I said Schmid actually has some potential, but I don't think oh, that's gosh. so anymore. Yeah, right after missing that slow ball towards him. Does it look like he gets the jump okay? Yeah, he just can't connect with the shot, but that's fine. It's all about improvement. Honestly, I both right, and here's some highlight plays we see in the background. It looks like both teams are readied up. We're just going to be waiting. James, you got to ready up too. We don't think anyone's trash here, All right. except for Schmid. But bro, Bowen, you cannot admit that one save. I bought Here we go. Out. We go to you the next game. We're going to be spectating this one. It looks like Schmid and Turturk are on the same team again against Jay Pizzle. Oh wait, no, never mind. Different teams against Jay Pizzle and Aquamani. Okay, here we go. And it looks like Turturp and Jay Pins roll those. And yep, Turturp does indeed get the ball. Aquamanic takes it out of the way, trying to get away from the ball. That is right. Looks like he's joking ball. So what do you got to say about our players here? <laughs> now, if I have to say something, it's obvious Schmid gets luck with all the ladies because he's not very good at this game. Now, but it, but it does mean it does mean that the other players actually do, uh, don't touch grass. Unlike you don't touch grass. No, I do not touch grass. I do not touch grass. All right, so if, if we can be honest here, with how good Turkey and Aqua Manning are, as well as if we can all tell they have no chance with the ladies. What do you say? I would say that too. Yeah, they obviously have you never touched grass in their life, and they only can think about the race cars with boosted engines. Now, Shmeed, we can tell he gets all the luck of the ladies. And I'm not just saying that because he's our coach, but I'm also saying that because he's extra fine looking. Alright, so it's back to the game. We have JPEG and Aquamanic taking the ball here. Third Circle takes is ready to defend, and he does successfully. Try to go in for the ball take, but Aqua Manning denies it. And it looks like Aqua Manning and Turtur actually have a little collision there, but not an explosion. And Aqua Manning actually fails to defend. He tries to go in, but misses. And Turtur has to reconnect with it, but he can't. Oh, here we go. And they're all ju they're all just missing the ball. Oh, Turtur makes a good comeback with the ball here, and he hits it out. That is true. Oh, okay, here we go, and oh, there's a collision. Goes in, he has a perfect oh, goal. Perfect goal. Oh, there we go. And here you can see with his perfect ball control that he really does not get hit. Being forever alone is really a small price to pay for here, just to be good at Rocket League. Now Schmid's going in for the ball. He actually hits it up. Making turns up a perfect goal and he misses it. Oh, good thing this is not during competition or I would be more than just a little disappointed. All right, here we go. Schmid is walking around with the ball. And then she goes straight to Turtle. And Turtle actually hits it a goal. Wow. Right. Turtle is probably definitely the best player on the other team. Yes, indeed. At, at this rate, we might as well just call him the Forever Alone Great Sage. Especially with how good he is. Oh, indeed. Right. So here we have Jay Pizzle. He's going to try to get control of the ball. Oh, that is true. And Schmid hits the wall. He actually gets bumped out of the wall. And a goal is made by Aquamanic. Wow, this 
this might be a comeback okay, year. Was me. It's not such a big comeback since it's only one of three, but it's definitely a comeback of some sort. Now we have two minutes and 19 seconds left. We've seen games last longer, we've seen games last uh, less than time. Okay, we have Jay Pizzle and Turf Tur going in, and Jay Pizzle actually wins the ball. He's lost left and right. Wow, okay, so we. Here we actually could check out Schmid is going left and right, lost in the Coco Fields. And Aqua Manning just comes out of, of, all the way from the other side and hits the goal perfectly in. Now, if Schmid probably had ball auto direct on, it would make it better for his gameplay. But, oh, okay, so now the ball goes to Jay Pizzle here, and Aqua Manning is going to go in for the goal here. And it oh, actually misses and turns He hits the rim. And Jay Pizzle actually no. doesn't save it, giving it straight to Turter. Oh, nice save. From okay, we have Shmi going in for the ball save, but he's not fast enough. Now the man makes a goal. Let go. Shmi should probably take more time to get the boost. Yeah, you know, in this case, in this case, with how bad Shmi is doing, they should honestly just make steroids for gamers that help him improve how good he's doing. But for the price of how many ladies you get, you feel me? <laughs> Alright, and here we have the ball going no off. Turf Turf's gonna wait for it. No, no, and no, wow, the waiting is the easy. The waiting pays off. Patience is key in this game, apparently, now. I've always seen it as such a fast paced game. You have to get the ball as fast as possible and have a high score before the time runs out. But he just get, pays that so patiently and perfectly so he can just get that ball straight in. Honestly. Well, also aim laps. Now, Turf Turf is going to take it out and actually destroy Aqua Manny. Right, here we go. Shmeen misses the ball and gives the perfect opportunity for Jay Pizzle to make the goal. You know, that's the only hole he's ever going to make it into for a try. See, he even makes a splash. You were good for that last joke. All right, now Aqua Manning here is probably gonna play off, and he hits the ball off. Oh, okay. And Turf Turf actually makes a recovery here. He goes straight up. All right, here we go. And he's watching it like a kid lost an idea. All right, Turf Turf is bringing it back up, and he's hitting it straight into the ball. Oh, and it was Schmid's turn, but he gets it. And it gives it a perfect chance for Jay Pizzles and Aqua Manning. You know, I kind of did. I kind of doubted Aqua Manning and Jay Pizzle when it was 0 3. But here we see them coming back 5 and 4. It looks like getting drills is if you're not bad at games. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So now we have Turtip and Schmid. Turtip wins the play here. And Schmid's going in for the ball. Let's see if he can get it this time. He makes an explosion. Wow, it looks like Schmid is starting to get tired of us calling him trash. Okay, now the landing's coming in. And they actually still get the ball. Alright. And here we can see that they actually both go in. See that explosion Schmid gets off does it not matter. Aquaman actually helped. Alright, he has a little bit of a team effort and that's perfect. That's all you want to see. Okay, we have Jay, Pinball, and Joe Turf. Schmid is going the opposite direction of the ball. Alright. Schmid, like a puppy. Schmid actually gets blown up. Oh, no, he blows somebody up. Alright, that means Schmid has control of the ball, but he misses up. But Turf Turf has his back. Alright, okay. We you might go for the goal here. Yeah. Oh, and, JPEG, oh, and he misses it. That was a, such a perfect shot, but he just couldn't get it in. He couldn't sink it. Oh, and Tur oh, Aqua Manny actually misses. Right, and it goes right back to Jay Pizzle. Can he get one last goal? Can he get one last goal? Oh, and Tur Tur, is he going to keep it in the air enough? He can't. Now, we saw a lot of great plays there, but one thing I really want to point yeah, out no is how Schmid was following the ball four, like a lost puppy. Four points off both of you. <laughs> now, if yeah, we're no, being no, honest, have you ever seen a dog just like sniffing like around? Like it's kind of like, but like, you know, not one that's on a leash. So, like, if you've seen a dog sniffing around without a leash, it's kind of like Schmid was like that dog, but he was just following without sniffing around. 
He was just like, oh, ball. That's a really nice ball. I, I should follow it. Like but, like, he doesn't want to harm it. It's like a precious goblet. Yeah, it's obviously me. Looks like he surrounds the ball more like a shark than actually going directly yeah, towards it and jumping. Correct. Alright, so we've had a great night tonight. We've had multiple games, but it seems like it's going to be the end of tonight's stream. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming. If you guys are 8th graders currently watching, Rising Freshman Night, we'll be here next season. Come out to Trojan Esports. Alright, we'll see you guys.